Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the is not a graphic designer as pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today for T-Shirt Tuesday, I'm gonna show you guys how to trace out this actual design that I drew on like Procreate in Photoshop. Now, we don't have to use brushes or anything like that. We can actually use shapes, and I'm probably gonna be using shapes throughout this, but I will be using my brush just a little bit. So if you guys have Photoshop 2018, you don't have to use like a pencil or a drawing tablet or anything like that because they actually have this kind of smoothing for like Photoshop. But if you guys don't have 2018 Photoshop, you can definitely just use like shapes and stuff like that. I'm gonna do half of this in shapes and I'm gonna do half of this with like my pencil. So, so hopefully you guys can follow along. If you like this one and you learned something, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I do this all the time. Matter of fact, hashtag bail me, bro. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and make magic. <laughs> So here we are in Photoshop and I pretty much got this pulled up. All I really need to do is just start pretty much making my shapes and all that. What we really want to do is just go ahead and make the shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick the ellipse tool and I'm going to bring this in and I want to go ahead and make sure that my guys are turned on and just pretty much create a shape. Now, of course, because we're drawing this out in Photoshop, we got to make it look a whole lot better. So I'm not going to make sure that this shape is you know out here protruding this line or anything like that because that's not what i want i want a very balanced design and you know my sketch just wasn't balanced so we're gonna have to work around this but that's the first thing i want to do is just make this little circle right here because with that i can go ahead on a new layer and make that same circle but that can become a path so i can just go ahead and drop down the path tool real quick and we can just do that again and i can use that to make the blast off so let's take the type tool real quick I'm just gonna go ahead and type on this path. Now with this, this blast off didn't kind of fit. So what I'm just gonna do is just up here at the status bar, just put in like 144 and that should fit. As a matter of fact, that's a little bit too much. So I might just bring it down to 135. Now I have to remember that this S right here won't be here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that out. But I'm also gonna add some space real quick just to get that T in this actual spot. And that looks good there. So what I'm gonna do now is just hit this check mark and then I'm going to take on a new layer. I'm, this, I'm just gonna use the polygon lasso tool and I'm just gonna draw out like this S that I use. So something a little bit like this. And that looks pretty good right there. But what I wanna do is make sure that this actual text rests on side of this circle that I created. And because this was drawn kind of badly, there's just a few things that I gotta do to make sure that this actually works. So I'm gonna go ahead and command T this real quick. And I'm just gonna pull it off to the right just a little bit. Then with that, I just want to go ahead and push this over to the right just a little bit to maybe about right here. And I'll just bring it down some. Now, there's still some things wrong here, like off is kind of not, you know, consistent with the blast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the type tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit the space bar. And that looks good right there. Now I'm going to turn back on the rocket. And I want to start drawing out this rocket. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lips and the wording into one group real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. Now with those in one group, I'm just going to go ahead and make a new layer. And then I want to go ahead and turn on my rulers and guides and stuff like that again. So this little kind of grid that I have made it. With this grid, I'm going to use the ellipse tool to pretty much draw out this rocket. So we can tell that this rocket kind of protrudes a lot of this side here. And it's kind of touching this over here. So we want to make sure that this rocket, the oval for this rocket is going to at least hit 8 and 5. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it from there. And I'm gonna bring this down to like maybe here. And that looks good right there. So I'm gonna make another layer real quick. And I wanna do it again over here, except for like these wings. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a circle this time. And I wanna take that circle and then kind of bring it up under like this. And then I just wanna get this little point up here at the top. So I'm gonna make another layer. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make this circle at the top of this. So now that we got this, all I need to do is just make some layer masks to make these wings. So what I want to do is just go ahead and hold down command and click on this ellipse right here. And then I'm going to go to layer three and hit the mask. So what it did was it took out everything from above it. And that's not what I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit command I to bring that back. Now here, all I need to do is just kind of make like a rectangle that kind of separates these two. And I'll just go ahead and put a layer mask on that. And then also hit command I to get out that other side. So we have this. Now there's still some stuff that I need to do to make sure that this rocket looks good. Like I need to get like the innards of this out. Like this circle right here doesn't look all that good. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these into one group. And then holding down command, I'm going to click on this ellipse to get the dancing ants. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on a layer mask and then hit command I to invert it and that looks good so what I want to do is just go ahead and turn off the sketch and then turn on group 2 and this is what we get I'm gonna go ahead and put all these into one layer and I just want to name these accordingly so this is gonna be my rocket and this is gonna be blast off now this is coming along pretty good but there's just still some things that I need to do like I need to go ahead and tilt this rocket down just a little bit like this and then I just want to bring this down like this just a little bit so we can get that blast off effect that I had in the sketch now this looks pretty good or whatnot but what I want to do is get these fireballs out that was coming from the actual ship so I'm gonna turn that rocket back on and I want to trace with my brush around these to get that out so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off blast off and rocket and I'm just gonna get my brush tool now like I told you guys in the beginning of this if you guys have Photoshop CC 2018 you can do this even if you have like and if you don't have CC, you can still do this. It's not, you're not going to get the smoothing that everybody else will, but you can use this in like Illustrator, stuff like that to get the exact same effect. So what you want to do is just kind of zoom in real quick. And then on layer three, just go ahead and draw it out. And that looks good right there. We can probably increase the strokes of these. So I'm going to go ahead and double click and then bring in like maybe a stroke of black. And I just want to go ahead and drop the strokes down to maybe like, we'll say like five. However, on layer five, I need to go ahead and make those kind of like lines that was coming out of blast and off. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn back on rocket, yo, and turn everything else off and just work on that. And that looks pretty good. So there's just a few things I need to do. I need to fix up some of this stuff. So the first thing is I need to turn off blast off and I need to make this rocket a little bit bigger. Let's turn blast off back on just a little bit. And I'll bring down rocket to where like the antenna is sticking out, but not by too much, but like right there. So it's actually protruding like this circle. We want that. The second thing is I'm gonna go ahead and have to bring this down because you know, it's off just a little bit. These dash lines over here into the B can probably be deleted out. Some of this stuff over here can be deleted. And then the other side, we can just kind of move those down as well. And then I also feel like this rocket can be tilted just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is on a new layer, I'm just going to go ahead and hit Command, Option, Shift, and E to make a composite shot. And then I'm going to turn all of this stuff off. So all of this can just go off and that'll be all right. So now that we have this, and I feel like this looks good, let's just say we didn't like the fire here, which I'm not really too much of a fan of it anyways. So what we can do is we can make a duplicate real quick and we can turn off layer 7 just to keep that preserved and we can use the eraser tool to just delete some of that out like I really don't like some of these here and I'm not a fan of like this one right here either and let's just say we want to move this up I can just go ahead and select it and then hit command J and I can make that selection again real quick and then delete that layer let's just say maybe I wanted to use like these little lines right here to show that these are kind of in movement so what I can just do is I could just take these lines here in a selection and just duplicate it then I can take those and just move them over here like this now moving those lines in like this actually helped this design because what actually happened here was I purposely messed this up and the reason why is because I wanted to show you guys how to fix it just in case you guys weren't doing things you know actually strong or straight or anything like that because if you don't have Photoshop CC 2018 you're not really gonna have like some of the sharpest of lines. Even with the 2018, I didn't really get sharp lines. I just kind of went over what I had to do to get. So I'm gonna just go ahead and fix this out real quick so you guys can see that this is straight. I kind of messed that up. But with that being said, I got just a few more things to do that you guys can just go ahead and just emulate real quick in your own designs. So now what we wanna do is get that shadowing that I did from the beginning of this design. So we wanna bring that back. We wanna bring in these little shadow lines. So this is real simple to do, you guys. All you have to do is open up a new layer and then on this new layer, just take the rounded rectangle tool and you just want to go ahead and just kind of make that shape. 
So we're just gonna something a little bit like this. Now we can take this and we can actually keep making this circle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the alter option and just kind of drag that down. Just a little bit like that. I'm gonna take all three of these. I'm gonna hit command G and then I use alter option again and just kind of do the exact same thing. It takes time, but it's real simple to do, all right? Like once you get it, you get it. So now that we got this, all I wanna do is just take the ellipse tool and just kind of move that in over here like this. And I'm just gonna go in and hit the layer mask. Instead of it being on this side, you know, of course, we just gotta hit command I to get what we want out of it. And that looks good there. But we want this to be inside of the design. So I'm just going to go ahead and make another group. But this time I'm going to go back to the original. I want to go ahead and turn this off and just bring up the rocket. And I want to make this rocket into a smart object real quick and just make the shape of the rocket. All right. So with that shape of the rocket select, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the layer mask and we'll get something a little bit like this. I'm going to take the brush tool inside this layer mask and I'm just going to go ahead and brush in all of this. This is how you get that. Now with this being said, and we have all of this, and this is looking pretty cool, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Command, Option, Alt, Shift, and E to make another composite shot. And then with that being said, we just put all this into one group and turn it off. Now, I want to go ahead and start coloring this. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a copy, and then I'll start my coloring process. So it's really simple. I really just want this to be two colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the circle yellow. Then I want to make parts of this rocket like pink. So we'll just make some of this pink here because pink actually sells you guys. Just so you guys know, pink and yellow is pretty much a good little color combination, um, especially if you're going after like kids of the age of like 16, 17, 18, they'll definitely mess around with pink and yellow. Uh, these flames can actually be pink as well, and I'll make this yellow. And then inside of the ship, we'll turn that like silver. So we'll kind of bring up like maybe like a off white and we'll just put that inside here like this. Now there is something just a little wrong here. Like if we zoom in, we can see that, you know, some of these lines aren't one, all that. So we can fix that out. That's really simple. But we want to make sure that the lines that from this circle is behind the actual ship. So the way we would do this is take the brush tool and just kind of brush that in. Like I said, if you guys have smoothing, this is real simple to do. So you guys, with that final tweak, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys learned a lot and I hope you guys can actually put your sketches together and fix it out and stuff like that. Photoshop CC is always improving, you guys. At first, I really wasn't trying to pay like a monthly subscription fee, but actually as things started going forward, I actually see that it's pretty good to use and you guys can actually put that together on your own. So I hope you guys are using Photoshop CC. Like I said, this stuff is amazing. And if you guys make something similar to it, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me something that you guys want me to do. This is pretty much episode 20 of T-Shirt Tuesday. And nobody really drops in any like suggestions or anything like that. So I want to see what you guys want me to create. If there's anything that you guys kind of want me to emulate, let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome. Yeah.